Some exciting news today. The May surveys came out, and so we see duck numbers, and we also have the AHM report, and, and there's a little bit of good news in both of them. Um, I, I have to admit, I was surprised that the total duck numbers were up slightly. Yeah. What, yeah, did, you, I, what did you find? Up a little bit, and you know, def, definitely some of the biggest changes across the continent that I've seen. You know, we were talking earlier about just the mallard numbers in the southern prairie provinces. Hoof. Yeah. You know, it's not good. Yeah, mallard numbers in, in southern Saskatchewan are, are down, and that's not a huge surprise. It's been dry as heck in southern Saskatchewan. So the Canadian prairies are dry. The the bright news was was South Dakota really improved and, and the eastern Dakotas were in good shape. Yeah. So so if we have good duck production for it's going to come out of the Dakotas and then some odd areas, the western areas, northern and western areas. Yeah, it was really surprising. Yeah. I was talking with Paul Waite this morning, and, you know, that area in northern B.C. and northern Alberta yeah. Yeah. is just shining. I mean, yeah. wow, it's a third. He was actually going through the numbers today. A third of the ducks estimated in the survey yeah. are coming from right there. Yeah, and that's unusual. The prairies are dry, and so the ducks are redistributing. Uh, some good news for southern hunters Blue, not blue wings, but green wings were up, and and green wings in Gadwall, you know, are what guys in Texas on the coast and Louisiana really thrive on, and both of those are up. Widgeon were up a surprisingly large amount. Widgeon are neat. I mean, it yeah. was just ten years ago. We we're actually nervous Worried. about them, right. but they're right back yeah. where they should be. Things yeah. look good, so those Pacific Northwest hunters yeah. are definitely going to enjoy some widgeon yeah. hunts. And uh, and then one of the surprises was pintails were down a little and. You know, are not much above their record lows, but the reevaluation of, of you know how we estimate harvest and a rebuild of the pintail model means that hunters next year, not this fall, but next fall, are going to get a three pintail limit, and that's that's exciting news for for a bunch of guys. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's really neat. It just yeah. sets a new precedent of how we deal with harvest, and instead of you know, allowing the number that we shoot every year to be the same regardless of population size. They use banning data to show it at different population sizes. You can actually let that number vary or that right. proportion vary. So it allows additional harvest when populations are lower. Yeah. So as pintails, you know, yeah. just can't get back to those record numbers of the 70s. It's not uh, restricting us for, for harvest potential. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I think that's, a, I don't know that it's additional harvest at low numbers, but, but the recognition that when numbers are low, hunters get fewer of them. And so regulations don't make that much difference. And so, yep. so that was good news. Uh, mallard numbers down a little bit. That's not, not great, but we're of course going to stick with a liberal season in, in 2025. So that, that of course will make hunters happy. So. So overall, you know, not, not great duck numbers by any means, but, uh, and the other thing that was good and, and only vaguely in the survey was that while pond numbers were up a little bit in the spring, we got a lot of rain later on. And so like at our research site in Alberta, you and I thought it was going to be a bust after, after four weeks, we had very few nests and we were ready to call it quits. It and then, bad. and then that rain, the ducks responded and we got some nesting. So we'll have pretty good re-nesting, particularly in the, in the Eastern Dakotas where it's really wet. So yeah. And that's something to think about. You just can't capture it in that survey. You know, right. the pilots, the survey guys are all out there doing their job at a relatively similar time period every yeah. year. They adjust it, but those rains were right in that last right. part of May right. and especially June. It just, yeah. The rains came all yeah. over the yeah. place, so it's a lot of the stuff that that fall flight isn't just how many you start with, but it could be really bad brood production. It could be really high. So yeah. at least this year, yeah. that second part, the really high potential for duckling yeah. production, exists. We'll as, see what happens. As John Devney always says, we don't hunt the spring population, we hunt the fall flight and, and the rain will help with, with duck production because of re-nesting and brood survival being being relatively good. So so overall, not a bad report, not not exceptional numbers expected flying south, but but just average.